Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and video. Steven Rogers Lim here. So today I will be doing the review video for this figure, 1 6 scale by Hot Toys. So this is actually Echo from the animated series Star Wars The Bad Batch, otherwise known as Clone Force 99. So I really can't wait to talk more about this excellent beautiful figure and of course I think if you are a clones fan or a Star Wars fan as in clones fan or clone trooper fan or maybe a clone captain or clone commander fan this is definitely a figure that you would like so I definitely have a lot to talk about this figure thank you so much for joining me and i hope you will continue to stay for the rest of this review video all right people so this is the figure together with all its accessories so probably let me quickly run through with all of you all the different accessories as quickly and as comprehensively as I can All right, so over here we have five different modes for Echo's arm So over here, these are the accessories for the utility arm over here and then this is the manipulator arm this is the jackhammer arm and this is the grasper arm so uh, these three parts are all accessories for the utility arm so the manipulator arm is by itself jackhammer jack hammer arm yes jackhammer arm is by itself so these two are actually the parts for the grasper arm so i think you can definitely see the details or read it up yourself in the instructions so i will not go too much on this and then the fifth mode or version of his right arm is this one this is the they call it the computer interface arm so i mean i just want everybody to look at the details in the different arms look at this utility arm i think the details are beautiful and very very i mean they're very detailed very intricate beautiful impressive so i think hot toys really puts a lot of effort in the details and i think hot toys really prides itself in the details of its figures look at this this is the manipulator arm this is the jackhammer arm just look at the beautiful details there so um i think you can really interchange these different arms depending on your preference or how you want to display and pose echo really a lot of choices here a bit a tad bit too much of accessories if you ask me so these two I mean these are the grasper arm accessories so as I mentioned you can always look to the instructions for more details and info I just really wanted to show the aesthetics side of this figure to everyone so this is the computer interface arm beautiful there so I just really want to show everybody the excellent details in this five different arms here. One, two, three, four, five. Grasp arm at the end. Excellent details there. Alright, the next set of accessories that I really want to show everyone is this backpack here. 
So uh, in case you were wondering, right, I think uh, if anybody, I mean, if any, every one of you who unboxes this uh, figure, you'll be thinking what are these two sticks for? So it's actually in the instructions. So it's actually the antenna for the backpack. Right, so I think the slots, the shape of the slots are distinctly different. So this is for the shorter one, just now that one is for the longer antenna. So um, beautiful details there if you ask me, excellent details there. But Hot Toys. So this backpack was definitely very iconic of Echo. I mean, it, it, it kept appearing in the series with Echo using it. So this is magnetic. So you can see how easily it can clip on like this. So I just wanted to show everybody this part. Alright, next is the helmet. So by right, uh, how Echo wears his helmet is, um, this part is not supposed to be here. So he's supposed to wear this helmet like this in the show. So that's why there's this part that can be removed, it's removable. Alright, so that's how Echo puts on his Helmets, or is it like this? Like this? It's supposed to be more of slot on, like this, right? Correct me there if I'm wrong. But anyway, pardon me, pardon me there. Sorry, pardon me there if I didn't get this right. But just wanted to show everyone. This is how the helmet works you can actually insert it back in for the helmet to look like this because right um you're supposed to remove the head scalp completely and insert this in so i think that's why the helmet of course is made in this way but i also want to say that this is a beautiful helmet definitely echoes helmets so this is the removable parts to make it look more real or authentic for him to really carry the helmet like this without the back part here because the back part here is already part of his head or brain yep now in case you were also wondering what is this black cloth here right so if you are actually using the helmet version for echo this piece of cloth is supposed to be inserted into the neck piece and then you remove I mean of course you remove the head scalp first you put in the cloth black cloth in and then you insert the helmet in I think it's quite comprehensive and it's well explained in the instructions just wanted to show everybody this beautiful helmet there of echo Excellent details there by Hot Toys, if you ask me. Beautiful helmet. Alright, then of course we have the extra hand packs included by Hot Toys. And then two extra left hands of Echo. One is the one pointing. Uh, the other one is the one holding on to the pistol or rifle or blaster for that matter and then there's a third hand of course already on its arm but the default wrist that's already there and then uh, of course there's this pistol I think Captain Rex has the same one so I think uh, you can also insert this here very nicely so since we are 
done with the accessories so I really wanted to show everyone the main figure itself of course how can I forget the display stand maybe let me finish off with the display stand first before I end off with the figure so it comes with this extra slip here the bad batch this is how it looks like or otherwise you can just use it without the slip or this piece uh, I mean I meant to say this piece of this slip of uh, like a plastic paper kind of base here you can use it without this paper here but then you can just use the base by itself so this is echo the under groin grabber under hook kind of a display stand with the quite the standard Star Wars display base simple yet beautiful display base display stand alrighty so I really want to talk about Echo's head sculpt there I think this is a beautiful excellent head sculpt there by Hot Toys so I think I explained on my Facebook page or profile for that matter Stephen Rogers Lim I mean I'm known as Stephen Rogers Lim on Facebook as well as on YouTube so I think Hot Toys is really trying to integrate the look to satisfy fans by giving his got really both the animated and real life look so this is definitely having the resemblance of Temuera Morrison who is the clone actor and also of course the actor for Django Fats, Boba Fats which the clones are based on the original host of course should already know by now I believe Django Fats so this is beautiful head sculpt so I think Hot Toys is really going the correct direction in terms of the head sculpt even for Hunter Crosshair, Wrecker, and Tech. Not sure if we're gonna get an Omega soon, but I do hope so. Really want to see how Hot Toys does the Omega hit scout. Female, younger version of Temuera Morrison. So you just look at the details there of this figure of Echo. Look at the utility belt there. Look at the accessories. It's beautiful details there. And this red black piece of cloth hanging out of Echo's utility belt there. This cloth is really authentic. Real to the cartoon series, the character in the cartoon series, animated series. So I just really love the details provided there by Hot Toys when it comes to their figures and the accessories. Excellent, beautiful work there by the Hot Toys. Really, really loving this Echo figure. And I think the quality is really good. Hard plastic here. I think they have changed all this as well. They are more of a plastic than a pleather, or otherwise known as fake leather, which might peel. Or flick easily so I mean I'm really liking this utility belt here great quality there in the utility belt the armor the computer interface arm it's quite a, 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 a not a handful a mouthful or maybe even a handful pronouncing all these different arms of echo utility arm jackhammer arm manipulator arm and grasper arm yep Just look at the eyeballs there, the facial features, beautiful there. If you ask me, excellent echo figure there by Hot Toys, 1-6 scale.
Alrighty people, I have come to the end of my review video for this 1-6 scale figure by Hot Toys Echo from the Bad Batch or Clone Force 99 from Star Wars So um, I was just thinking if you are still on the fence on this figure, I think you should really go get it This is a beautiful head sculpt So I think it would be great to display this figure together with the rest of the clones whether it's Commander Cody, Rex and upcoming ones um, so Hunter has already been released so we have the upcoming ones like Crosshair, Wrecker and Tech which are the rest of the Bad Batch so if you are a Star Wars fan or Clone Wars fan Clone Trooper fan, Clone Commander fan, I think you should really get this. This is beautiful and I think as mentioned earlier, this head sculpt is wonderful. Hot Toys has really done a great job by making this head sculpt. Not just having the animated look, but the real life look of our dear clone actor Temuera Morrison. I hope I pronounce his name correctly. Alright, so I think that's all I have to say for now. My next video will definitely be a comparison video for this figure. I think I will compare it it's with Clone Commander Cody and Captain Rex head sculpt version of course without the helmet since I've already earlier done I think it was Captain Vaughn with the helmet version of comparison with Captain Vaughn, Captain Rex and Commander Cody so I really want to do a comparison video of the different clone head sculpts so best to do it with the clones Captain Rex and Commander Cody alright so that's my next video hope to catch everyone there and then this has been Steven Rogers Lin here Thank you so much for joining me at my channel and video and staying throughout this video. Okay, goodbye. And as always, people, don't stop collecting. See you, people. Take care. Bye-bye.